looks like a giant tomahawk. I like it. Good morning. It is a beautiful sunny day, and I've got a project that I'm really excited about. I'm going to build. I'm calling it a. Whoa. I'm calling it a root ripper. I'm going to build something that hooks onto this front carriage for my pallet forks, and it's basically going to be like a giant spear to, that I can stab in the ground and cut roots. I have a bunch of scrap metal. It should be everything I need to build it. So let's get to work. Get things cleaned up a little bit. So I have a nice place to work. I always keep kitty litter on the ground because old tractors, they just leak. You can, you can spend a lot of time trying to get them to not leak hydraulic oil, but when you got hydraulics all over the place and the tractor's 64 years old, it's just going to leak. So these forks will either slide out the end or they can pop out the middle here. I have these pieces which actually came off the carriage, I believe, when I bought it. They'll fit right on either side of, of the carriage. I'll start with these pieces and build off of that. Whenever I build something like this, I don't really have plans except for what's in my head and just kind of figure it out as I go. So I'm not going to give you too much detail along the way. I'll just set up a time lapse and uh, let's get to work. Well, this is what I ended up with. It looks like a giant tomahawk. I like it. So this is half inch plate. I just use the torch to cut a relatively sharp edge on it. It's welded a couple reinforcements on the side here. Those are each at least quarter inch thick. So these are grade eight bolts. Pieces on the back here are welded on and bolted on. Half inch plate is welded both sides all the way. And then I added these support pieces that are welded in here and up here as well. The welds are kind of ugly, but it doesn't matter for this application. I'm gonna go give it a shot, see if it works. It looks cool. And as you can imagine, it is very heavy. I actually don't know if the motor's high, high enough to get it on. What the heck? Oh, for a second I thought it wasn't gonna fit. These forks can come off the end or the middle, so. I will slide these guys off. At least I thought they could. Maybe not. 
This walnut tree right here, I tried pushing over. It's not very big. Couldn't get the roots to roll up out of the ground and, and knock over. So I'm gonna try cutting roots with my with the new tool back there, and I'll see if I can get it out. Same thing with this cherry tree. This is a pretty big cherry tree. The cherry trees roots they're really long, but they're usually towards the surface, and there's not many of them. So I think if I can find a couple of the main roots, I might be able to rip them, and then when I push on it, I might be able to get it to roll over. Let's see how she does. This one is significantly bigger. of that brew. Cut right to it. It's pretty cool. That worked. Rolled the root ball right out of the ground, right around my cuts. Look at that, that's what I cut through with my tool. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try the big one. Look at that. Worked like a charm. No problem. Look at these roots that I've been cutting with my tool. That's substantial. And this big guy down here. Sweet. Rolled it right out of the ground. Pallet forks back on and get this stuff cleaned up. Well, that is just so cool when 
you have a plan to build something, you build it, and then you use it, and it actually works. It doesn't always happen. The biggest reason why I wanted to build that tool and, and cut the trees down with a chainsaw, then you don't have any leverage, and you have to have like a bulldozer or an excavator to dig the stumps out. But if I can use the tree trunk to help give me leverage, to help roll the root ball up, once it's tipped up out of the ground like that, I can get the stump out of the ground and then I don't have to drive around a stump all the time. Change implements back to the pallet forestry. Get the chainsaw out, get those cut up, and maybe get a fire going and burn everything up. Pretty happy though. Well, I suppose I'm done for the night because I think that's supposed to be attached to something. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Peace.